Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Two Studios and today we're going to be looking at the settings I use in Dolphins to get what I believe are the best graphical quality for my rig. Now I use a Risen 7 3700X CPU and a GTX 2060 super 8 gigabytes GPU. Bear that in mind when watching this, if you do have a computer with a lower setting than that, then this isn't going to work as smooth for you. So sit back, relax, get those knickers out of the switch, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's just dive into it, shall we? So to check out the graphics settings on Dolphin when it opens up, there is a tab that says graphics. And I'll bring up this menu with four different tabs, general, enhancements, hacks, and advanced. In the general tab, I use direct 3D11, but I do change this out depending on the game and the performance. If the game isn't performing well, I'll try OpenGL or Direct 3D12, and I'll even try Vulkan, depending on the game and how well it is running. If one isn't doing well, I will try and use the other. My personal preference is Direct 3D11, as that one has given me the least problems in the past. Always make sure that your adapter set to your graphics card and not Microsoft Basic Renderer, because it will be significantly better on your GPU. Aspect ratio, I have it set to auto so it can decide, but if you are a fan of keeping things at widescreen, you can set it to force 69 or force 43 if you want that classic experience. I just set it to auto because I let it do the work for me. VSync, I always VSync if the game is going too fast, if it's too many frames per second, but it rarely happens. And then on this bit here where it says shader compilation, I use the synchronous uber shaders because they have been the best they provide a near stutter free experience at the cost of high gpu performance requirements so this bit is only recommended for high-end systems and it works fine for me if i'm having any problems then i'll use the asynchronous shaders and if i'm having further problems i will use the synchronous shaders which are the ones that are recommended for low-end hardware so it all depends on the game and your gpu but if you have low-end hardware i would definitely recommend using the synchronous and I would also recommend that you click compile shaders before starting. Now this will gather as many shaders as it can, which will reduce stuttering in the game as it is not collecting the shaders as it goes. It will, however, mean that you have to wait a minute or two for your game to load up every time as it gets all the shaders ready. This is definitely recommended if you are on a low end system and I recommend it if you're on a high end system too. It just takes a little bit of the work away from Dolphin and gets it ready before you start. Yep, you've got to wait a couple of minutes for the game to start, but what's a couple of minutes? Go get yourself a brew, something like that. Get yourself a nice cup of coffee and come back and the game will be ready to play. In the enhancement section, the resolution that I use is 1080p because my monitor is 1080p and there's no point in using any of the other ones. You can go as far as 5K if that's what you've got, if that's what you're into, but I wouldn't recommend it because 1080p is definitely fine enough. And if you want that classic experience, you can change it to the native resolution. And to aliasing, I use four times SSA because I tested it out a few times and that was the one that ran the smoothest. 8 times SSAA worked, but it just wasn't as smooth as 4 times. So the key to this is to just keep trying all of these different settings until one of them works. If you have a low end system, you're going to want to change that to none or 2 times MSAA. But the one that works for me is 4 times SSA. And isotropic filtering. Hope I said that right. I have that set to 16 times because it's the most powerful and I just want it to run with the most powerful settings. If you're unsure about this or if you're having any problems, just keep bringing this down until it starts running a bit smoother. With all these settings here down at the bottom, if you see the descriptions, it tells you what they do and tells you what to do if you are a bit unsure. So on this one, it says scaled EFB copy. It increases the quality of textures generated using renders to texture effects. If unsure, leave this checked. I was unsure about it, so I left it checked. Per pixel lighting, if unsure, leave this unchecked. So all of these where I said that, I've just kept them as they were when I got it and read the description where it says, if I'm unsure, I've left it as they've said. Same goes for this bit here in the hack section. Anything that says, if unsure, leave this unchecked, I've unchecked it. And if unsure, leave this check, I've left it checked. In the advanced section, the only bits I have checked here are the load custom textures because I like to use custom textures. And if you want to know how to do that, you can check one of my videos out there and prefetch custom textures. Just like with the, just like with compiling shaders, this just gets all the textures ready and into the system so that it doesn't have to do any extra work. And that's everything for this video. If you have any settings that you use are different from mine, tell me why in the comments down below and let me know because I'm always looking for some new tips and tricks. If you've liked this video, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.